Okay, good morning. Saturday morning. <clears throat> it's pretty early. It's uh, only 33 degrees out. But I'll be honest with you. It's nice and sunny. And there's really not much of a breeze. So it feels pretty good. Here's my oak tree. I'm going to walk out to the pond first. And see what's going on there. And then we'll head down the road. Getting my walk in early today. I wanted to go to the gym, but uh, I got a door to install. I got a friend coming over to help me out, so that kind of shoots my morning. But I may be able to get a chance to go in the afternoon. So here you can see that we do have ice covering on there. So a lot of times during the winter, I'm going to be knocking holes in the ice just to get more oxygen into the water so I don't have a kill. Uh, chances are by later in the afternoon that ice cover will be gone. What was really weird, one day I did see a big old tadpole underneath it, which I'd never seen before. That was kind of odd. But we got a lot of cover for the fish. I've been dumping a lot of rocks there. When I do walk in the field and find a rock, I pick it up. Things like that. <clears throat> so this is how I get my morning exercise in. A little walking gets the blood moving. Carries nutrients to all parts of the body. Uh, helps with the cleansing of the body too. And remember, as long as you can walk, you can enjoy life. You know, as long as you're moving, your body is going to be improving. Hey, how do you like that one? I just remember that. If you're moving, you're improving. Uh, I have to thank the body beat down for the motivation to get me to start doing these. Months and months and months ago, probably, oh God, maybe eight months ago. And uh, I have added this to my routine, which I'm glad I did. Today's going to be a nice day. I might do some throwing. I haven't done that for a while. Uh, these days are fewer and fewer and further between. So when I have them, I try to take advantage of them. So I was just watching the news briefly and yeah, there's nothing good on there. So I said, that sun's out, let's go for a walk. Definitely improved my mood. So, I did get a little bit of shopping done yesterday uh, at the grocery store. And I think I kind of told you about my feelings about Black Friday. Besides all those things I can find online. And, uh... Did go to one of the uh, hardware stores and bought some uh, stuff for the house, some salt for the softener. Got a pretty good deal on that because they forgot to pull the tag. Not my problem. <laughs> so here's a beautiful sunny day. I'm out here a couple hours earlier than I usually am. I was going to say I could wait for it to get a little warmer, but... I stepped outside and I said, you know, it's not bad. And like I said, with the wind being down and the, and the sun beating on you, it does help you out a lot. So, hoping everybody's enjoying their holiday weekend. I know Mrs. Scottish Fitness is. She's visiting the, the grandson and her daughter. So they're having a really good time. I went out there two weeks ago to visit. And then next year we'll both go at the same time. Just had to work around work schedules. I'm getting a lot of overtime in. Make the money when you can. Oh, look, the gate's open. I wonder if they know that. I don't know, maybe all the Cattle are gone, but generally that's a bad thing. Yeah, we'll hope they're all gone here. I'll have to inquire. 
first time I've seen the gate open like that. Ah, have a Kia there. I think the neighbors got themselves a new vehicle. Old oh, the puppy dogs are out there. I think they're gonna they're gonna notice me. I might have to go out and say hi to them. So this is the more exciting direction. Got the dogs on this side. Got the dogs on that side. I like pup dogs. There's a lot of traffic for a Saturday morning. Well, they haven't reacted to me yet. Maybe I can sneak by. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Hey, this might be slow moving in the morning, too. So, starting the day off with a nice walk. And, uh... We'll be putting the door in, so that's going to be exercise. And then at work, I do have the opportunity to, to do uh, dips, which are a good chest and arm exercise. I can't film it because you're not allowed to film uh, anything during, at the production line. But that's what I'll be doing. And uh, see how that goes. And that'll be a good exercise, and I'll get me prepared for Monday. Which, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a bench day Monday or not. i got to go pick up uh, Mrs. Scottish Fitness at the airport at like 5 in the morning. And that means I'll be home by, oh, 7.30. Depending on how fast we got at the airport, the faster the better. Otherwise, I'll catch some traffic. And uh, I'll be dealing with only a couple hours of sleep. It usually doesn't bide well for me to go lift heavy. So that might just be uh, another walk along the park and then shift my bench to Tuesday. And then we've only got a couple more benches before my contest on December 10th. It's like, damn, it's here already. So it's summer 10th in Peoria. I'll be competing in the Masters 60 to 64, 242 pound class. And I'll be going there to take on their national record, which is only like 374 pounds. And I can I can pretty much press that four times. So uh should be no problem setting a new record. I still won't be hitting the weights I want to hit, but <clears throat> as long as I'm in the 400s, I'll be happy. And then next spring, I hope to be in a position to take the number one slot in the 275 pound class. So I'll probably let myself get heavier in the spring and see if I can uh, knock it out. Now I hear my other puppy dogs up ahead. <clears throat> well, they might be seeing me. And that's probably about as far as I'm going to go. I usually would turn the corner and, and see if uh, my neighbor was out there. I was trying to get him a job where I work. And I, and I did get him to the interview. I just haven't heard anything since. I would have hoped he would have got it. It's a good job, great benefits. And I think it would do wonders for him, but sometimes when you, there's a, a fear factor in there, especially when you haven't had that type of job before, I don't know if he's comfortable working with a lot of people. I mean, it's never bothered me because I don't get involved in the drama. And I let them know that. Because remember, when they're talking to you about somebody else, guess who they're talking about when you're not there? Yep. 
they are a uh, all around talk about you. So here's Mud Creek, which is not, which it usually takes a little bit more to, to get a stream to freeze because the water's moving. So that gives you an idea. It got down pretty cold last night. Now we got the puppies up here. So they got a black lab and a shepherd type dog. And of course, when I pet them, they, the one doesn't like the other one to be petted. <laughs> so they kind of fight amongst themselves. But I guess they've been doing that for a very long time. They see me. And they're like, you got to come pet me. Now when they're out, that usually means the neighbor's out. Or close by. And if he does come out, then I'll just pause the camera. But oh yeah, beautiful day. Yeah, they're already... They're already fighting with each other. He's got a big ball out too. There we go. There's the puppy dogs. There's the puppy dogs. Yep. Oh my goodness, look at all that noise you're making. Look at all that noise you're making. So usually I wait till I get to the corner of the property. So I'm not right up by those vehicles and that. Hey there puppy dogs. Oh hello there. And they kind of know where I'm going. So when he's out I just end up talking to him. Otherwise I come here to the corner and give him a little petting and then continue on down the road. Moving on down the road. Yep, that's what they do. They be fighting. Ah, uh, you guys behave. Hey. Hey, hey, behave now. Be good puppy dogs now. Be good puppy dogs, yeah. Be, hey, hey. Stop, 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 stop. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go, jealous puppy dogs. All right. Hey, they get jealous. They get jealous. Oh. I see 12 minutes. Do I make the turn? And possibly see if my buddy's out there. Well, since I went this far. I know, you guys got misbehaving. So what I haven't seen lately is uh, vultures. What I have seen is red-tailed hawks. I tried to film one yesterday, and the camera's just not behaving. So when I thought I was filming, I wasn't. And then when I thought I stopped filming, well, well then I had a nice video of the, of the car seat. So... It's been doing that to me a lot. And that's also because I'm trying to do too many things at the same time. I was driving at the time. But, uh, yeah, sometimes the touch screen gets a little too touchy. So, anyway, hoping everybody, once again, is enjoying their weekend. Shout out to. Michael at the Body Beatdown, or at Fat Man Prepper. John at Prepper Nation, Beaverines. Rudy at Alaska Prepper. Uh, Cuba at Gray Man Prepping. Northern Girl Hobbies up in Canada, Fan City Prepper up in Canada. Uh, Ark Wild Man Survival. We're going to guess Arkansas. Uh, who else? Prepper Cowboy, Pre Preparedness Veteran, out there in the UK. Uh, of course, one of my 
dear moderators, Miss Worm. Hope she does more story time. And I'll think of the other ones as they come. But those are the ones I usually try to visit on a regular basis. Sassy Gal Prepping, I think would be another one. And uh, just enjoying being out here. You know, being on the walk, be able to enjoy the weather. You know, being in an area where I don't really have any safety concerns, but I'm still prepared in case I was wrong. You know, we've had some <coughs> shootings going on. Of course, everything is a mass shooting, but... And the news is plastering all over the place, and they're calling for bans on assault weapons, whatever that is, I think. If you use a baseball bat to kill somebody, I would consider that an assault weapon. The thing of it is, is somebody had to employ the tool. And I really get concerned when I see everybody that falls for the the false propaganda. Yeah, we've we've lost people to gun violence, but we've saved ten times more by having a gun. But the media don't talk to you about that because it goes against their narrative. They talk to you about who got killed, not who got saved. <clears throat> Pretty much a fact that anywhere from 300,000 to 1.5 million incidences a year a gun is used to prevent loss of life. And the majority, probably well over 90% of it, the gun never had to be discharged. Just the fact that you had one made the cowardly criminal say, oh, we're not going to do this. And I was doing a <clears throat> live stream earlier in the week, and I had a you know troll on there with multiple identities. And he's going, "Oh yeah, you're talking about staring down somebody, you know? Oh, blah 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 blah." Well, you know, in life, you're either prey or you're a predator. <laughs> All right, and a predator don't mean necessarily a bad thing. But if you allow somebody to bully you, they will continue to bully you. You have invited them to continue. By non-action, you have told them it's okay to do that. And I find most bullies are cowards. So when you call them on their bluff, whether they be bigger than you or not, they tend to back down. You know, when I was in high school, I was a lot lighter. And I have on maybe two occasions had somebody try to bully me, and I told them, you don't want to, you don't want to play this game with me. And they're like, oh, I'll, I'll beat you up. Okay, you might. But you'll know you've been in a fight. And be prepared to do it again tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. Because I will keep coming at you until you don't want this anymore. And I dealt with bullies before. A lot of times they were really surprised when they were on the losing end of it. All right, just because you're big, don't mean you know how to fight. Now, now as I am big, I know how to fight. But I, I don't bully. I don't look for trouble. You know, I see people, I try to look for the good in them. When I'm at the gym, I, I encourage them. You know, I tell them, don't worry about how much I'm lifting. You know, let's celebrate what you're doing. You're in the gym, you're improving yourself. That's worth a celebration right there. And that's the way it should be. Bullies tend to have some sort of issue with themselves, and that's why they're bullying. But, you know, three occasions me having a gun kept violence happening to me and at one time to my wife and unborn child. 
I didn't even have to shoot the gun. But once they knew, and once they thought, because they never even had to see the gun. But once I went into that position, they get ready to bring it out. Because if I'm bringing the gun out, I'm using it. Just telling you right now. If I fear for my life, or the life of my wife or my child, there's no more conversation. In all three occasions, they found somewhere else to be before I had to employ it, which I'm happy about. I don't want to employ it. It's a terrible thing to do. But also, having harm be done to me and, and my wife and family is worse. So I'm not going to allow that to happen. And that's the long and short of it. <clears throat> so no, Mr. President, I'm not supporting your assault weapon ban, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. All right. And the media, I'm getting tired of you not giving both sides of the story. Your propaganda. Propaganda is not only what you say, but it's how you say it and what you don't say. You know, those just taking a three-second clip from a conversation, not showing what happened before or after, is propaganda. Those not covering all the incidents where somebody has saved their life or other people's lives by having a gun is propaganda. And if you don't believe they're being trained by the media and the politicians, you're, you're either naive or you believe everything you see on Twitter. And that's where I see most of this foolishness. You know, he had that Shannon Watts. He started losing arguments with me. Because I don't use vulgar, I just use facts. So she blocked me. You know, Shannon, you're part of that propaganda system. And you think you're a protected class, but you're not. And if things do go the way you think you want them to go, it's not going to be good for anybody, including you. You know, I don't want to hear about other countries. This is America. We didn't have a gun problem until we made other changes. You know, we took religion out of the schools. We took... Uh, blaming the person and now we're blaming society for what they do no you blame the person they did what they did saying oh they were they did it because of you know this this speech and that speech no you are responsible for your own actions if you don't have the brains or fortitude to separate the hate and bullshit that you see there that's your problem that's on you you know and we, we gotta start Voting that way. We gotta start looking at our politicians going, you know, you're not locking up the criminals, so we're gonna vote for somebody else. Don't tell me you wanna ban guns when you're letting the gangbangers out the door within a day. You think they care about a ban? They don't care about a ban. You think banning something's gonna get rid of it? How's that doing with the drug trade? Yeah, same thing. So no, we don't want to be like Australia or New Zealand or that, because we're not. We're America. Be proud of being Americans. I'll uh, be honest, I'm, I'm disappointed with the way the elections went this last time. It just tells me that the masses, for the most part, want to be subjugated. You know, it's sad. But that's the thing is, good times, which we've had for a long time, produce weak men and women. Weak men and women produce bad times. Guess where we're at. <laughs> bad times produce strong men and women. So we're not into that cycle yet. Hopefully it'll come back around. But I'm just telling you, you gotta, you gotta be alert and you gotta take your safety. You gotta make it your priority. <clears throat> Remember, the police are there to investigate the crime. What has happened has already happened. They are not there to prevent it. They are not even there to protect you. There's nothing in there saying they have to sit there and get between you and a bullet. I think we found that out down in Florida. You know, when they sat outside. Down in the other school where they sat outside. You know, it's the parents that went in and got the kids. 
after they had to get un unhandcuffed. This world's going crazy. It gets crazier every year. You know, I can now see why my dad was I was worried about the next generation. You know, I'm worried about the generation that my grandkids are going to have to be in. And it's not because of the guns. It's because of you who think that you can take them away. You are the enemy. Whether it's because of ignorance or it's because of your part of the system. Trust me, you are the enemy of the American way. If I fought up some people, apologize my opinion. Not saying you have to agree with me. I'm just telling you where I'm at with it. Alrighty, so here's my mile and a half mark. I think I can go spin around, start heading back. That should work out pretty well. It'll be time for <clears throat> hopefully my buddy to show up on time. And uh, I'll post this video later on this afternoon when I get to work where I have a 5G signal. So yeah, I don't know if my buddy's staying here right now or not. I might be over at his girlfriend's. I don't hear anything. It doesn't look like anything's changed in the last two weeks. But, oh, what a, what a beautiful day. So, shout out to all my subscribers that are now doing some sort of exercise plan. You guys are awesome. Continue to keep doing that. Don't ever stop. You know, I was watching a short <clears throat> video clip of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he says he'll work out till he dies. And I agree with him. I will too. I'll work out as long as I can. You know, I, it makes me feel better. Right, it makes me healthier. It helps me mentally. There's so many benefits of it. You know, is it a battle to get motivated? Sure it is. But I fight that battle every time. And I, and I win. I think some people feel, God, I'm not motivated. What's wrong with me? Nothing wrong with you. You're going through the same scenario we all do. The only thing that separates us is we get up and we go to the gym. Or we get up and we go for a walk. And that's all you need to do. Just get up and move. And once you do, you'll be happy that you did. And that's when the improvement happens. And then when you get in the habit of doing it, well, then that's what you look forward to. You know, I look forward to my, my days in the gym. You know, I look forward to my days taking these walks. It's so nice out here. This is far better than sitting in the house. You know, sitting in the house is for sleeping and eating. All right. If I'm not doing either or reading, <clears throat> then I want to be active. I want to be doing something. You know, I'll play with the dumbbells, go to the gym, go for a hike, <clears throat> throw a discus. You know, I'll do something to keep myself active. I want to keep doing that. Well, this would be a nice field to throw. Just bring my my discus here and I can throw it there. No trees. <laughs> might throw straight. You know, it might be just what I need. Bring one of the discus out here and I can throw every now and then. Of course, my throwing shoes are different than my walking shoes. You don't want to have shoes that grip the pavement. You want to be able to spin. And uh, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm going to hopefully get some shooting in. Yeah, we'll see. Mother Nature may may have a different story on that, but if not, I'll get to see some people I haven't seen for a while. That reminds me, I need to bring my shotgun shells up. Get my shotgun out of the out of the safe. 
I'll probably bring two. You always bring a backup. And I need to get some cash. So, maybe I'll stop at Walmart and see if they have a special on shotgun shells. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be a madhouse today, hopefully. <coughs> I do feel sorry to ones that have to have to survive this weekend because in retail, it this weekend sucks. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it may have something to do with that shooting in Walmart and the Carolinas. This is definitely a time of, of stress for the managers. Not that that's how you take care of it, because it isn't. Well, I think I'll finish up here, unless I see if you have anything of interest. I think uh, the regular people that watch these videos appreciate it. Remember to hit... Thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and share, and all that other youtube -y stuff. And hopefully I've earned my quarter for today, earned my 25 cents. If I can double it, I can be a rapper. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Rest, nutrition, proper exercise, and always be in motion.